So here we are on the felt. We have my Aurora button shoes from J Fitzpatrick footwear.com. And I was, had talked about doing a video, a closer look at these since we have a better camera set up. And as you can see, it is a button shoe. And some of you had the question of, or just wondering how they are worn. And some of you thought they may be a little fancy for your taste, but I just really consider them to be just a, a normal, pretty much just a saddle shoe if you look at them from this side. But on this side, of course, you have the button flap here to button them up. So that adds a little bit of flair. Um, real quick, let me show you how to button them. You have to have a button hook. It's very difficult to button the buttons uh, if, if they're fitted properly on your shoe uh, without some type of uh, button hook device. So what you do is you slide it in the eyelet, like so, and you're gonna wrap the hook around the button and you just twist it and the button pops through on the end. And I'll show you again through the eyelet, wrap around the button. This is actually easier with the shoe on your foot. <laughs> wrap around the button. Eh. There we go and twist and it pops through like so and to unbutton you just simply do like a regular button uh, i normally leave this button done and sometimes this second button as well um i can almost put the shoes on with all buttons fastened but it's, it's a little tight so uh <laughs> this is in dark museum brown and also dark brown suede and we look take a look at them in details here uh, the heel port part of the footbed has some padding not as much as my carlos santos hand grade shoes but there is some there a uh, big difference from allen edmonds which is non-existent as far as padding on the heel, on the inside, you have your, your model number and some more information on the shoe. Um, it does have closed channel stitching. Waist is not so narrow. Not, not too narrow. Uh, now, the one thing that I am not that fond about is actually the last shape. This is on the JKF last. JKF, Justin Fitzpatrick, uh, JKF, I'm sure that's uh, where that last comes from. Um, I wish I would not have added this, this type of sole protector on it. Instead, in the future, I would probably just do a toe tap instead. Uh, but it's nice, nice coloring on the sole, nice sole work. I've worn these, uh, I've worn these a good few times, probably hmm, maybe eight to 10 times I've worn them. So they do, they do get some use. And the other thing we're going to do in this video right after this is go online. I'm going to show you the made to order program of Justin Fitzpatrick's website, uh, which I think is the best deal out there as far as getting some customized shoes and the, just due to the variety of offerings that he has, the, the style of shoes that he has within, you know, the different styles of loafer, Oxford, monk straps, and so on within those styles, there's a great, great, great range of variations and um, little things that you can customize for a pretty good deal. I think a great deal, actually, especially if you pay full price but we'll look at the pricing and and uh, get those details to you guys here in just a second. We'll be right back. And we are back. 
So we are at the jfitzpatrickfootwear.com website, and we're going to look at the bait to order program. And there is two reasons I wanted to do this video. First is I wanted to, I wanted to show that the, that I think the J Fitzpatrick made to order program is one of the best out there. Uh, as far as the value you get for the amount of customizations you can get on the shoes and not only the customizations, but the amount of different shoe variations that he has himself within his own line. Uh, my Aurora's were purchased at the uh, as a GM GMTO, uh, which is which stands for Group Made to Order, and with that is so I'm just gonna scroll through some of these some of these pages uh, while I'm yapping. Um, it was my Aurora's were purchased as a Group Made to Order, and what that means is uh, a shoe is presented uh, as it is. You can't make any customizations. And it's offered uh, for a group or sometimes it's called a crowd fund. And it may be a, a requirement of at least six sold, at least eight sold, 10, five, whatever the number may be. But they have to reach that number before the, before the shoes go into production. So <clears throat> back in October, you know, I was looking at my I was going I'm going through and putting a video of my 2020 shoe purchases. So I was going back to all the shoes I purchased and I actually purchased those Aurora's back in October of 2019. That's when I put the deposit down October, 2019. They actually didn't show up until April of 2020. I didn't realize it was that long because the, the major order shoes are only supposed to take around four months. But while I was waiting, they were in contact with me saying, you know, there was some delays at the, the factory or whatever. And plus, you know, we know what happened early 2020. Um, so my Aurora's were a group made to order. Now, the incentive for purchasing from a group made to order. But like I said, there's there's no customization. So as the shoe is presented is how it's going to be. But the incentive is it's going to be a nice discount. And some other brands may offer like some last issue trees or, you know, they throw in some other uh, some other things to get you to purchase the uh, the shoes. So actually the shoes, my Aurora's were around four forty, four forty, four fifty. So I'm like one hundred dollars off. And as you can see, the the regular price would would have been five fifty if I would have had the opportunity to to make some customizations. So it's it's good to if you can if you get get a hold of a GMTO, usually come out pretty good, so long as the, the shoe you know meets your your expectations as far as what it looks like. Um, now the second reason I wanted to make this video is I was in an email conversation with Justin back during Christmas time when I ordered those JF line shoes for Christmas presents, and. Towards the end of the conversation, I asked, I asked him why he doesn't feature some of these made-to-order programs in his unboxing videos on YouTube. Uh, well, he proceeded to tell me, well, the unboxing series is specifically for the shoe snob, which is also the blog that he has. And he didn't want to appear or that that platform has to remain unbiased in its opinions. And so that's very understandable. Uh, but he did say he may consider doing it as part of a marketing, um, you know, part of marketing for J. Fitzpatrick footwear. So I encouraged him to do that. And if you are ever in contact with Justin, please encourage him to do the same. Because as you can see, I'm scrolling through pages and pages. We have 37 pages of shoes. Uh, not, not all different shoes, but a lot of shoes with so many variations. Some of the shoes are their names, but the names, their, their variation on the same style. For instance, this is the font Leroy. This is the font Leroy, which you can see is a, a single monk strap with a cap toe. 
and it's on the LPB last. But if you go look at the Madrona, if you look at the Madrona, it is the same single monk strap and the, uh, it has a plain toe instead of a cap toe. So if you were saying, okay, I want the Madrona, but I want a cap toe instead, then you would order the Font Leroy. That's what, that's what, uh, that's how they work. Or if you had the Font, if you were looking at the Font Leroy and said, I don't want a cap, I want to add, say you want to add a medallion. Well, I think the, there's another one more shoe in that same style that has a medallion instead of, yeah. Is it the Overlake? Let me see. Yeah, the Overlake. So that's the Overlake is the same as the Font Leroy and the Madrona, except that it's more like the Madrona. It has a plain toe, but it has a medallion. So you can look at that instead of adding, you know, changing the, uh, or telling the, uh, you can look at that instead of designating in the customization to add or remove a medallion. There's some options that are already there and it's just a different name. Uh, what else? And you can see, you could change the suede and leather and mix and match all you want to your heart, heart desires. Now, one more thing I want to show you now. Okay. So 550 is a lot for shoes. Uh, we'll just say 500 or better because the, the loafers are around 500. Uh, but look at this. If you purchase the, the shoe, um, you can do a 50% deposit up front. And when the shoe is ready to be shipped to you, pay the remaining balance. So let's say you pay 250, uh, for, let's say 275 is 550, 275 here in January, well, you have up until April when the shoe should be shipped to you to come up with that other 275. So that gives you plenty of time to save those pennies so you can go ahead and purchase the, these nice shoes. Uh, the other option is if you pay the full amount up front, he's going to give you an, an automatic 10% off. So if the shoes were four, 550, 10% off, you're coming at right under $500 for the shoes. And there's a, there's, that's an incentive uh, to make the full, full price purchase up front. Uh, like I said, it takes about four, about four months. Mine took longer, but we know the circumstances, uh, of what happened with that. And one more thing we'll look at. Here's the last shapes here. You really want to get into the last and how it fits. Uh, he gives you some details about the last, whether it's non, non elongated or not. Um, tells you about the instep, the forefoot, what it mostly resembles from other, other shoe brands. Okay. gives you a, a top view picture Room the JKF last is the Aurora models that I have. But all these, uh, every shoe can be placed on any last that is available. This is the LPB last, which is, which is the one I really like. And the one I'm going to order my next shoes on. MGF is the sharp chisel. Um, so you want to make sure about the sizes and you, of course you can email J Fitzpatrick and get some idea about what size you would need for the shoe that you want on the last that you're looking at. Okay. So having said all that, let's place an order. Now this is going to be a very, uh, straightforward because I know exactly what I want from here on the website. And it is this Font Leroy in burgundy calf. Uh, I want it on the LPB last. I want it size D 
and I wanted US nine and a half. Now I thought about changing the color to a cedar calf, but I need another set or I need a set of burgundy shoes. I don't have, I have an Oxblood Park Avenues, uh, which when well, we already know about <laughs> my feelings towards Allen Edmonds these days. And I have a uh, chili color, chili and um, dark chili and those Carlisle, Allen Edmonds Carlisle, which I do not wear unless, you know, I'm going uh, actually, I don't wear them. Let's maybe I may wear them to work or something. So I need a pair of burgundy shoes, a bur nice pair of burgundy shoes. And only monks monks I have are double monk, uh, black double monk straps from Carmina in that um, Cordovan. So we are going to go with this. Now, the only thing I'm unsure of is, is if that buckle is gold or silver. So I'm just going to say silver buckle just to be sure. Um, I don't see the sole on the shoe, so I'm going to say black sole. And what else? Uh, I think that's it. going to add to cart. And as you can see, it applied to 10% off. So my total cost is 481.50. And we're going to check out. And just like that, we are back with these shoes ordered. And you can see the total there of 481. So under $500, I have some made to order shoes, even though I did not do any customizations to the shoe, but I think they're good as is. So I will update you guys when they arrive and we will see you on the next one. Peace.